Hi everyone! Greetings from the Reading Action Program, Pasig Host Lions Club and Pasig Achievers Leo Club of District 301D2, Philippines. I am Ms. Wedi, your teacher for today. You know I would like to share you a short story, a story about the colors of the rainbow. Have you heard about it? Oh, I can see your excitement, guys. Let's welcome our beautiful and jolly storyteller. She is Lion May So. Hello there. Look at this frame. It's so dark. It looks dead. There's no color, no life at all. Hmm. Today, I would like to tell you the story of colors, their roles and their importance. And the title is, the Parable of the Rainbow Colors A long time ago, the world was so colorful. Each color would like to be recognized as the most important and favorite of all because of their own characteristics. Each one would like to be on top of the other, like Color Green described. I am Color Green, the symbol of life and hope. You look around you and you will see me everywhere on grasses, leaves of trees, green leafy vegetables, and many more in other places. If I don't exist, many will have nothing to eat. Color Blue hopped in and said, I am Color Blue, and you will see me in every corner of the earth. If you look at the sky and the sea, you will see me. Water is the basis of all life. It is drawn up from the sky and the deep sea where the clouds recycle it into all your greenery. Without me, you will not have any green. The blue sky also provides the sun, which is the energy of the earth. The moon, the stars in the sky also provide peace and quietness. That's why I'm the most important color. With a smile, the yellow color sounded in. Look at yourself, you look so serious. Me? I bring laughter, joy, and love to anyone. Hey, look at me! The sun is yellow, the moon is yellow, the stars are yellow. My sunflowers and golden showers bring happiness and make the whole world smile. My color brightens the whole world. What a dark, boring, and lifeless world without me. Orange came in confidently. You might not know that orange, my color, is the most cherished of all. I am the color of health and strength. I supply all the needs of human life. I am not as popular as you are, but I am as important as all of you. You must know that I carry the vitamins needed on earth. Without orange fruits and vegetables, like carrots, squash, oranges, mangoes, and other food, the world would lose its energy and vitality. You can't see me everywhere, but during the sunrise and sunset, I fill the whole sky. My striking beauty will amuse everyone and forget all of you. Red wants to say her piece too. Hey, listen everyone, I am your leader. I am your blood. Blood is life. I am the color of bravery. I am willing to fight for a cause. Red is the color of passion and love like the red rose, the poinsettia, and other red flowers. Without me, the earth would be as lifeless as the Dead Sea. Violet stood tallest of all and with a commanding voice, I am Violet, the color of royalty and power. I am a sign of authority and wisdom. Kings, chiefs, and bishops have always chosen me because of these. No one can question me. Everybody follows me. The whole world needs a leader like me. Lastly, compared with others, with determination and calmness, Indigo spoke. My friends, come to think of me. You hardly notice me because I am the color of silence. Without me, everybody becomes artificial. I represent good thought and reflection, sunset and deep water. You need me for balance and contrast, for prayer and inner peace. There will be chaos and disorders among you without me. With all of these, 
all the colors continue bragging and quarreling. Each one wants to be the best, to be the favorite and most important among them. Everyone was shouting aloud. The exchange of words became louder, louder and louder. Suddenly, there was lightning, thunder rolling to and fro. Rain came falling. There was continuous rainfall, heavy rainfall. The colors ducked down in fear, close to one another for comfort. Suddenly, a big voice began to speak. Our creator was watching them and listening to every word each color was saying. You're all foolish colors. Why are you bragging and fighting among yourselves to prove that you're the best and trying to dictate the rest? Don't you know? Each one of you was made for a special purpose. You're unique and different. Join hands with one another and come to me. Doing as they were told, the colors united and joined hands. The voice continued, From now on, when it rains, each of you will stretch across the sky in a great bow of colors as a reminder that you are all important and you can live in peace. You must remember to appreciate one another. And so, when a good rain washes the world, a rainbow appears in the sky. Let the rainbow be a sign of hope for tomorrow. Did you like this story? You know, if you will compare the rainbow to yourself, each color represents your talents and your uniqueness. Each one of us is different, remember that, because each one of us is special. We are stronger if we put all our talents together and use them for the common good. In this way, we will create a better, useful, and greater results or impact. We don't need to compare because we are all created by God equally with a purpose and that is to be united and be a source of joy to others. So let's be together. Let's be as one. Remember the parable of the rainbow. This is Miss Sweaty. Your teacher for today saying goodbye for now and see you again on our next storytelling time. Goodbye!